right so i'm getting ready to head to a brunch by the way good morning everyone um today is what is today today's wednesday november oh my god we're not even in november anymore good morning today is wednesday december 1st so i'm getting ready to run out to a co-workers going away brunch um i'm a little bit in a hurry because i'm a little late just a tiny bit um but i wanted to just say good morning let you guys know that i'm heading to this brunch i'll show you guys like the things that we pick up it's kind of like self-order um it's like this cute little brunchy location um i'll show you guys what i get from there i'll kind of show you the vibe like their decor it's very um like rustic but during christmas season i'm sure they'll have like beautiful lights in there and things like that sometimes they play live music if they play a little bit of live music i will show you guys that if it's playing like actual music i cannot show it on here just for copyright purposes um but yeah i'm heading there right now and i'll show you guys the vibe I all right so i left um and i had to grab this cinnamon bun to go guys this is so flaky and so good i tried to get more footage of the area for you guys but it was just so packed in there around this time of year everywhere is just so packed um and i didn't want to put anyone in the video so i just wanted to show you guys this um and i did end up getting i have water in here now i got this cranberry ginger lemonade and it was so good again i just have water in here because it was like a tarty sweetie drink so i just changed it out to water but yeah we're going into sephora now <music> are back i went to sephora i showed you guys um just a few little perfumes so i looked at perfumes i looked at some of the fenty beauty stuff because i needed to change out my foundation um what else did i look at their skincare so i haven't been wearing makeup for a while most of my videos i don't wear makeup and there's a reason why i don't i prefer my bare face but not only that i break out and then I get dark spots and when I get dark sp spots I really do try not to wear to like put any makeup on my face just so that my skin can breathe um so I was in the skincare aisle because I focus like I f sometimes I focus on my skincare but 
especially when I have dark spots, I focus on my skincare much more. So I was in that aisle just looking at stuff because I have just this one that I just want to go away. Um, this one is kind of going away and I have another one that's kind of going away, but this one is pretty pronounced. So I'm working on getting that one to go away usually. So I get it especially around when I'm getting my period. I just ended my period. Actually, it's not even fully over yet. Um, and then about a week or two after that, it'll really start to lighten up. So I'm fully aware that it's probably a hormonal thing, but I also do try to work on putting things on my face to help with that. So yeah. Then after that, we went to, I brought you guys along with me just to show you a couple things, to Marshalls. And I was looking for a picture with like black like this right here with the black picture frame I need about four of those I need two like very big ones and then two that's about this size and I'm gonna show you guys what I got so this is what I ended up getting look at how stunning this piece is it's so big it's stunning like do you see the um, Bantu knots they're so, I love this picture. And it was actually on sale. I paid $18 for this from $30. Unfortunately, a lot of the black art at Marshalls and TJ Maxx are usually on sale. Like, I don't think I've ever seen anything there full price. Like, for the times that I've gone to the like picture aisle whenever I've gone which to be honest it's not like that frequent it's not like I go weekly or anything like that but in the last few months any time anytime I've gone to look for like a picture any black art it's on sale which is insane to me um so this is by Erica Pope it says Erica Pope owner and artist um, the Soul Company is all about manifesting light into your everyday life. Create a world that radiates positivity by sowing the seeds today that you want to see bl blossom tomorrow. Every item in my shop has been specially designed and curated by my art collective and seeks to exude strength, love, passion, and evoke emotional and spiritual peace and solitude. Oh, and of course, add something authentic and beautiful to your life. So, again got this at did I say Marshall's guys I'm sorry it was the TJ Maxx home goods um, but if you're looking for this picture if you go to the TJ Maxx home goods in your area and you can't find it it does say here that you can get it at www that the s o w dot c o and this is the piece right here it's stunning I cannot wait to put it up in either my living room or my dining room then I have a couple of pieces here um, I got a few packages in one of them I'm gonna open like I'm gonna do a dedicated video to that and then I'm thinking if I want to do like a collective haul but then I'm like I'm here with you guys so why don't I just open it now um, so this package is from Amazon I'm not really sure what it is Let's see. I don't even know what I've ordered recently from there. Let's see. Oh, these are just some, um, I picked up some N95 masks. I have them in white and black, but I wanted some that were different colors. So I grabbed these. I said I think I said this before in my vlogs but I am such an online shopper I used to be an in-store shopper but I'm such an online shopper because then I can just unpack everything I'm not a returner which I'm trying to work on a little bit because you should return things if you're not going to use it um but then I make an excuse and then I just end up donating it I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing I don't know but I just love online shopping nowadays in stores it's just packed with people i'm not even sure what just fell out these little what appears to be hooks just fell out of the package i'm not even sure why 
Maybe people sell these individually. Oh, maybe they're for the ears, like they're to hook in the back so they don't hurt your ears. Um, it is suitable for storage condition. Is it put on air strap? Um, yep. Adjust the bridge of the nose. That's all it says, but it doesn't really say comfort nose guard design. I don't know. I don't know what these things were for, but I'm going to throw them back in here. So these are the colors that you get. So you get black in a pack. Let me just open the pack and show you guys because I actually want to see how it feels. Um, so I got the pack with black. You get blue. You get gray, this beautiful turquoise color, and then you get this pink kind of color. So these are the colors that you get in the pack. I just wanted to check and make sure that the bridge of these, it's not too tight. I like these. All right, perfect. Perfect. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is a pack of 50 and I believe I paid like $26 for this, which I don't think is bad. Um, do I want to open this? Yeah. So I got this, which I was like, do I want to? It was, this is the thing that like annoys me about myself sometimes. So we had an entire Black Friday sale and I walked right by this door just hurt my finger and instead of me going in the store and purchasing this item I decided to bring myself home and purchase the item online at full price it's whatever um, so I actually went on free people and I was looking for these sunglasses not this color in particular, but I wanted this shape. And for some reason, these just looked better. It was the black ones that I wanted, but these just looked better online. So I grabbed these, <coughs> sorry, instead. How, how amazing are these? Like, are they not nice? I feel like I should come in a little more. What do you think? about these like I really I really like these tell me your thoughts tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below I like these they're like soft they feel like very good on my face um I like these a lot And then it has like this detail on the side and then clear on the side. Really, I really, really like these. So I am happy with this purchase. I am happy with this purchase. I don't know if I mentioned, but they were $25. That's how much I paid for these. And then while we're here, sorry, I actually also grabbed another candle from Marshall's. I'm sorry, I keep saying Marshalls, it's TJ Maxx. Um, this is the Sand and Fog Apple Spice. This smells so good. Like if you're a cinnamon apple person, it smells so, oh my goodness. Like I cannot wait to light this one. So it says, what does it say the smell is? I don't know if these, it literally just fell in my hand. Do you guys see that? So crazy. Doesn't even say what it smells like. I'm fine with it falling because once I light it, I'm sure it'll probably just stick right into place. But I grabbed that and this was $7.99. While we're here, I think I'm just going to show this to you guys. Because why not? Um... A little 
a little collective haul. So I saw these and I was like, yes, thank you, ma'am. I've been looking for a pair of wedges. I originally wanted these in white, but they were sold out in my size. So I got the black ones instead. Like how stunning are these heels? I cannot wait to try them out. They're like knee high heels. Oh, I cannot wait. And they feel so lightweight. Like these with a pair of shorts, a short, like shorts, maybe like a tank top or a turtleneck and a blazer with these boots would look so good. I literally cannot wait to wear those. And that's pretty much most of the things that I got. Like I said, I'm gonna do a separate unboxing on the piece that I got in just now. Um, I think I'm gonna be getting something from Brandon Blackwood soon. I reached out to them. If you watch that haul, I unboxed one of my handbags and it was like dented, it just looked awful. I reached out to them and they said they were gonna send me another one. Um, I sent back my old one and then they were just gonna do an exchange. So I'm waiting for that and I'll probably do a video on that. But in the meantime, guys, that is it. Gonna finish watching Netflix. I think on my last vlog, I told you guys I was gonna finish watching Insecure thinking the season was over, but it's not. So joke was on me. Um, so I'm gonna let that finish up. Um, and then I'll watch the end of Insecure. But for now, I'm watching Is It True Story with Kevin Hart on Netflix. So I'm going to finish watching that. And then I'm going to take myself to bed. And that is it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Good evening, everyone. I am back from work. I am getting ready to ignore all the noise. There are so much, there are so many people, um, like so much noise going on downstairs. So ignore all of that. Um, I wanted to come on here just to say hi. Um, I'm not really doing much today. I worked already. I'm getting ready to edit some videos. I got a couple more packages. A couple of them I will probably just share with you guys really quickly. I feel like I unbox or I open something every single day around this time of year i order a lot usually regardless but around this time of year i order so much stuff like so much and i get multiple packages a day so i'm going to show you guys a couple of the stuff today at work was so insane um like so one of my coworkers came up to me and she pretty much was like, oh, I saw your Instagram and I saw, <laughs> I'm laughing, but <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Like, I don't know, it's weird. If you have a YouTube channel and you watch my channel and you have a job, you know pretty much that you wanna separate the, the both of them. Like, you want to do YouTube and your Instagram and all your social media stuff separate and you just want to keep your work stuff separate. But then they find a way to just like combine or like, I don't know, they find me. Like my work, my coworkers will find me on my social media platforms and I'm like, oh. and then they talk about it at work, which gets other people to talk about it and it's just I don't know I'm weird about things like that and I know I need to get comfortable especially if my goal with social media with my platforms is for it to grow I need to get comfortable with the fact that people are going to see me um, people are going to find me people that I know are going to see me and they're going to find me. I have really close friends who have found me through Googling cer certain things and they'll send me the picture and I'm just like, <laughs> what, what is this? How did you find me? Um, and I don't know, it's just crazy. I need to find a way to get comfortable. I'm very, 
Believe it or not, I'm fairly shy. Um, I say it's anti it's me being antisocial. I think part of it is that I'm antisocial, but I also think that I'm very shy. Um, some people will call it humble. Um, I don't know if I would call it humble. I, I don't like to talk about myself. I don't like to talk about the things that I do. Um, you guys may see me make videos on like my handbags and all this luxury stuff, which I love. I love, but I don't like talking about it in front of people. Like I'll wear my luxury stuff, but when someone brings it up, like I get very like, this is kind of awkward kind of thing. And I, I love, it's actually partly why I started doing YouTube because I actually love luxury pieces. I love talking about them. I like talking about the value. I love, I just love talking about all that stuff. And I feel like this is my outlet. Coming behind this camera, talking to like-minded people who enjoy luxury stuff, um, it just makes everything just feel okay. Um, I don't know if that's, partly trauma I don't know if that's just upbringing you know especially when you have an upbringing where if you talk about luxury stuff you almost are perceived as like the bougie one or who thinks they're better than anyone like I'm not sure I'm pretty well I'll take that back I'm pretty sure it, it plays a role in it um I'm not sure how much of it kind of just plays up like I don't know how much of a role it plays in it um, I kind of rambled a little bit I'm pretty sure some of you can relate to what I'm saying especially if you come from a different background meaning whether you're black or you're Hispanic or like of a different ethnicity you chances are you probably relate with what I'm saying um, or just a poor background like I'm pretty sure you can relate to what I'm saying but anyways um where's this piece I don't even know I feel like I've been waiting for this for quite some time oh, I feel like I should have taken my glasses off sometimes I'll film with my glasses and I don't like it because the ring light kind of leaves like um like a circle around my glasses while you're watching me um but anyways, I'm opening this box. I think I know where it's from. I think I know it's from, I think it's from StockX, if I'm not mistaken, because I got an email earlier while I was at work that a package came in. Guys, you've never, I don't know if I've ever shown my Apple Watch on my channel, but I love this thing. Like, I've spoken before about like not wearing it when you go out because it's not cute it's not cute like I see some people out and about with like their Apple watches and like all dressed up and I you know it's a no for me um but I overall I love my Apple watch like I love it all right so it's definitely what I think it is so one time I ordered from StockX I want to open this I'm kind of afraid to open it um if you know anything about adidas 450 then you probably know what this is um but one time i ordered something from StockX, and they sent me the wrong thing like um mind you if you if you've shopped on StockX before then you know that they like you order the product they send the product to StockX, they verify your item blah blah blah, blah like this whole process and to go through that entire process and then in the at the end of that entire verification all this stuff you get the wrong item is insane like it's mind-boggling to me i sent them an email and they almost like i don't know like how did they phrase it so you can return the item but then you have to repurchase the item again if you've stopped if you've shopped on StockX before then you know that you have to bid on things so the price that i pay for something today it can be higher like the next day or like a couple hours later so for them to tell me that 
I have to reorder it was just like insane. I ended up reordering the item, but I had to explain to them that what they wanted me to do was insane, especially when it wasn't my fault. It was their fault. So I, I reordered the item, the discount code that they gave me um, kind of made it equivalent a little bit. So it made me comfortable like shopping on StockX again because had they not done that, I would not be shopping with StockX ever. Like, I mean ever again. So let me just open this. This is my receipt. So the purchase price for this item was $240 and then with taxes, processing, shipping, all that stuff, it came out to $270. Excuse me. Um, what's the retail on this? I think the retail, does it say on here? You know how sometimes it'll tell you? I want to say it's like $220 or something like that. Let's see if the thing will open. So you get the StockX always verified kind of sticker. Like I told you guys, they'll like verify the items. Um, it does say made in Germany. Like there's a little sticker that says made in Germany. These things better fit me. I went up a size because I heard they run kind of small. So I hope they're not too big, but this is what I got. Let's see. All right. This is what i got i've been wanting a pair of these originally i wanted them in black but then um i was like ooh, like with some like cr all cream outfits i have some like cream mocha joggers with like an oversized like off-white top these would look so good in like a cute little wool coat guys how stunning are these I'm definitely I'm probably gonna try them on right now while I'm recording um just so I can let you guys know how they fit oh my god I hope they fit I hope they fit I hope I didn't go up and and I don't even know if I can return these I don't even know can I return like if there's no issue I don't know if I can return on StockX this material actually feels really good Let's see. I'm putting it next to my foot and it does seem to be a little big. Actually, like my toe is all, you guys can't even see, but bringing my foot up, my toe is like back here. But I think with socks, these are so cute. O M. Do you guys see these? I love that right here. They're so snug. Oh my God. I am like in love. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm like very excited. I know, so ridiculous. Love these kinds of things. I'm trying on the right foot. Cause my right foot's bigger than my left foot. Definitely if you're getting these, I would say at least, at least, at minimum, size up a half a size if you want it to fit good. At minimum. I'm so happy. Oh my God, they feel so good. Like I have a few Yeezys. I have a, like a, a good amount of Yeezys. And like the first pair, I got my regular size. They are so uncomfortable. They almost like scratch my second toe and then the next one I went up a half size up. Sometimes they're still a little tight. I think they're the 350s, but these, these feel good and it's because I think I went up so much. So I don't know if I'll ever get Yeezys in my regular size again. And then this is the next thing I wanna show you guys um, before I get to editing my videos. Um, so, by the way, I showed you guys those boots yesterday the wedge the high wedge black boots those are going back those hurt so bad like the way my ankle kind of 
Granted, I have an, like a little bit of a thing with my ankle. Like it hurts sometimes depending on how my ankle sits. But the way that thing slanted and oh my God, I was like, no way can I wear these shoes. They're beautiful, but they were just too uncomfortable for me. So I picked up these tights or these leggings from ASOS. I've shared this before, but I love this brand on ASOS. It's called Collusion. It's very like street streetwear um, vibe. I am a streetwear person. Like there are times, I and I think I've said this before, I love to dress elegant. Like I'll throw on my like nice shades, my nice outfit, but then trust and believe you will see me in streetwear. Like, nice chill comfortable hoodie with some leggings and some sneakers yep that's me that's carla you see it right um so it comes with this sticker but most of all i find that their leggings are just so comfortable like they're so comfortable do you guys see them i think these are more capri style which i'm okay with especially when i'm wearing boots I picked these up in a US size eight regular. Did I get these in a regular? I thought I got them in a long. Whatever, they sent them in a regular, it's okay. Um, I will say these are little see-through. Do you see that? You can see through them. So, I don't know. I don't, oh, they smell so good. And they're so like stretchy. Do you guys see that? But these are a little see-through. I'm not sure if maybe I'll wear like some boy shorts underneath, some all black boy shorts. That'll help me. Um, that'll help me a lot. So I got them, actually, I got two pairs because I really like them. And I think these were $10 tops. I love the comfort of them. And if you're wearing like an oversized, oversized sweatshirt or anything like that, the see-throughness of these, it may be okay. Um, but I think I'm gonna wear boy shorts with these anyways, but yeah, I just wanted to share the these couple things that I just picked up I am going to go edit videos. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night
morning so I just showed you all a little bit of my morning routine um, I made my bed you know brush my teeth wash my face and then I made coffee I do not plan on doing anything today I like to take an off day like an off day to just chill watch TV and just enjoy life um i also showed you guys i try to read my devotional every single day today is december 3rd so that's what i was reading um i tried to do a close-up for you guys so if you want to read it um just pause it in that moment maybe screenshot it and read it um for today it was great it was great it's so true you know everyone's made um, the personally different personalities are different some people are stronger than others because maybe throughout their life they're meant to deal with more stuff than other people um, some people are just chill because maybe that is just what their life is going to be just a chill life no need to be um, you know assertive and strong and just um, I don't know just that stronger personality some people don't need to be that way we're all made and created different for a reason for a purpose in life and i truly do believe that so yeah i wanted to share that piece with you guys um i just love reading that i feel like it just everything that i read for the day it either comes back in my head later on or that day I'm like oh my god I just read this and this is why I needed to read it so hopefully one of you read it and it just resonated it it fit for your life today or maybe a few days down the road um, so and I also showed you guys um, are my lips dry they feel so dry um, I also showed you guys that my husband found these two um, brown Christmas dolls that I was looking for um, usually when you go into stores you do not find um, dark skin dolls dark skin not much honestly they just they just started doing like dolls dolls but I was more talking about Christmas decor you usually don't find it and we've had those for years now and for some reason I could not find it so I'm so happy that my husband found it I cannot wait to put it in the living room um so yeah today all I'm really gonna do is just chill if I decide to go out because at some point I do want to get some new sunglasses I have so many eyeglasses I don't know if you guys have noticed by now but I have so many eyeglasses but I do need a new pair of sunglasses I have a few I have maybe about uh, I don't know eight sunglasses um, but I feel like I need a new pair um, so I need to get a new pair I'm not sure if I'm gonna go today I really do just want to chill when I designate a day for a chill day I try to make it just that a chill day um, so yeah that is the plan for today but if I decide to go out then you guys will see me if not I will see you guys tomorrow hello peoples so pardon me I just have this bralette on so I'm actually gonna just scoot down scooch down a little um so I just got home from work so you're not gonna get like any shopping vlogs or I don't know I'm here like so this is my one two three third vlog and what I've been doing is I've been combining like the days so today is Saturday I'm gonna be putting out a vlog tomorrow it's actually this vlog so I'm, I've combined it with I believe Thursday Friday Saturday and one and you'll get it Sunday and then my plan is to put out another vlog on Wednesday Sunday Wednesday um, so on Wednesday you should be getting stuff from Sunday Monday Tuesday and then it'll come out on Wednesday the tricky thing is most of you probably know by now but I work um, I have a job and I work on weekends this is actually my weekend on so you're not gonna get much from today Sunday or Monday because I work Saturday Sunday Monday um, so we'll see what I do I'm not really gonna do much again because I'm gonna be working and when I'm working I try not to 
over exhaust myself um but anyways i just got home from work work was something interesting we have quite the conversations um i don't even know if i can throw it in here like we have quite the conversations and today i'm just gonna give you like a quick like synapse no synapse um, what's the word like a, a snippet of what the conversation was about um so what are, I'll pretty much ask a question what are your thoughts on teenage teenagers having sexual intercourse or mm, maybe not that teenagers having relationships or being in relationships and family members or not even family members parents allowing teenagers to be in their rooms in the house what are your thoughts on that that was little literally the topic of discussion today at work allowing your teenagers to have their their significant other like whether it's their boyfriend or their girlfriends in your home allowing them to be in their rooms together let me know your thoughts i have my thoughts but i don't know if we want to have this discussion but i have my own thoughts around that um that is what we were discussing today at work um anyways i am oh my god my eyes look so tired i'm so low again guys i promise you this is just a bralette um it's just a bralette but it just looks weird because i almost look naked in a sense in the viewfinder um but i'm not so i just got this package in and I figured I would unbox it with you guys like I've been doing pretty much every day I've been unboxing items um, this I needed because we're now in December today is December what is today December 3rd December 4th what's today December 4th um, and I needed a planner let's see if this will focus so I picked up this planner from Amazon um, I usually use the Erin Condren planners but I wanted to try something different because I just find those planners even though I really like them I love the organization of them I love that you can personalize it like you can put pictures in the front it has words of encouragement um, when you start a new month things like that I find them to be a little bit bulky so I wanted to try a different planner i was loving the turquoise and the gold um 2022 so the boxes this is how let's get this to focus so the boxes this is how it looks um i don't know we'll see how if this actually works for me it's supposed to be like a weekly and a monthly planner I do like that you do get like a quote right here because in January it says the secret of getting ahead is getting started that is very true you gotta start you gotta start but every month there's like a small little motivational quote on the top there's a little note section on the side and there is like a weekly portion to this planner before I would never use a weekly portion to a planner but now with like youtube and working and all of that stuff i find that i actually do need to use the weekly portions of a planner before i didn't need to like i went to work and that was it like if i was going to the gym i would go to the gym every day like i didn't need to plan out my days but now i actually need to plan out my days so i had to get the weekly portion there's like a priorities section right here i'm kind of going a bit in depth with this planner um if you're looking for a planner then you may appreciate this section 
If not, then you'll probably end up skipping through this. Either way, I just wanted to point out that this is a monthly and a weekly planner. I think I'm gonna miss that in my other planner. My Oh, actually I lied. There is a little section here. I was gonna say that I'm gonna miss like, let's get to the page. Nope, it doesn't have it, I'm sorry. I thought it did. But in my Erin Condren um, planner in the back, I had like a note section, so I had extra sheets like this. This is just one sheet, I had a whole thing of extra sheets and at the end of the month I would get like about five extra note pages if I wanted to write things out um I do like that you get like a little folder right here I like that because sometimes I like to just stick things in there and then I get like the little book mark piece I didn't have that with my Erin Condren planner but we'll try this out we'll see how it works See how it just stops me exactly where I'm at. This little elastic piece. I do like that. Um, but we'll see. It's a little bit not flimsy. I'm just used to my Erin Condren planner. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this works. I'm going to start writing in it. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Didn't really do much. Um, I missed there was a tree lighting in my city yesterday i missed that um there was another tree lighting today i missed that as well um because i was at work that's what you do when you're at work you miss things right work hard play harder sometimes you miss things it's okay um so i miss those but i'm gonna end this vlog here and you'll be seeing this tomorrow or yeah tomorrow for you guys because tomorrow will be sunday december 5th so I'm going to end up here Saturday, December 4th, and then I'll just start the next few days for the vlog that will come out on Wednesday. Um, still trying to figure out this vlogging thing. I find that I, I talk a lot, like I'm speaking a lot here, but I want to show you guys some things. Um, I'm going to try to plan that out too, because I have a lot of things I need to do. Like I still need to do some shopping. I need to get sunglasses. Like there's a lot of things I need to do that I'm probably going to bring you guys along with me when I do it. Um, either way, yeah, let's end this vlog right here. I will see you in the next vlog.